In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a 4 bin wide by 5 bin tall storage rack. I use 27 gallon bins from Costco, and my ceiling height is 7 feet 10 inches. If you have a different ceiling height, want a different bin configuration, or want to use a different bin size, you can check out my other video on how to design this in Fusion 360 to give you the exact dimensions that you'll need. If you don't want to go through the hassle of making it yourself, you can purchase the Fusion 360 file from me in the description. For the wood for the storage rack, you'll only need 2x4s and 2x2s. The 2x4s will be used for the studs and the plates. There are 10 studs and they are 2x4s at 91 inches of length. There are 6 plates, 2 for the bottom, 2 for the top plate, and 2 for the double top plate. All are 2x4s at 91 and a half inches. And then the rails here, where the bins will sit on, are 2x2s at 30 inches of length, and there'll be 40 of those. Pause here to get the complete lists of materials and tools. I will also add this in the description. First I obviously bought the wood, then I cut it to size. I made a janky stop block for my chop saw so that my cuts were consistent and repeatable. Here is the 21 inch spacer to separate the studs and the 15 and a half inch spacers for the bin rails. I use this cut and treat wood preservative for the bottom plates that touch the concrete. Probably not necessary, but just want to make sure that this lasts a very long time. Because of the double top plate, we're able to build this on the floor and then raise it up later. I did not do a good job of filming this build, but for the two main wood frames, you'll want to put two structural screws or framing nails into the top and bottom plates and into the five studs to build the wood frame. When putting together the two framing walls, use the 21 inch 2x4 that we cut as a spacer to get your spacing between the studs accurate and consistent. I use my laser level to get it exactly a half inch off the wall. And then the first thing I actually attach is the double top plate to the ceiling joist, one screw into each joist. With the double top plate now attached to the ceiling, I can slide one of the wood frames right underneath that, and it should be a snug fit if all my measurements and cuts are accurate. And I will screw in one screw in between each of the studs. Then I used a powder actuated hammer tool to put nails into the concrete, again, one in between each stud. You can also add shims between your top plate and your double top plate to make it a more snug fit. Next, do the exact same thing for the other framing wall. With both 2x4 frames now attached to the ceiling joists and concrete flooring, use the two 15 and a half inch spacers we cut to install the 40 rails the bins will rest on. And you're done. Enjoy your new bin storage rack and let me know what you think.